I think you bring an excellent point because I think it's still unclear for a ton of people, really. Yeah. I think that many people don't understand that the same coin can be represented on other blockchain. Yeah. And that's, mm. that's really what we're talking about here for Tether. Um, there is one Tether, but in fact, there is a Tether on each of those supported chain that is the same, but not exactly the same coin, right? Like if you try to get the Tron Tether, and you move it to your Ethereum wallet, you will have a problem. You will not see, you will not so, see this so tether. Basically, you have Omni, which was on Bitcoin. You have you have USDT, which was on Ethereum. You had US, you had Tether on Avalanche, Tether on Cosmos, mm -hmm. Tether on Cello, Cello, however you want to say it. Then you had Tron and EOS, and there's it's even on Liquid, it's on Algorand. I mean, we can keep going down the list. Solana. All the way down to Ton, Tezos too. It's it literally exists. So if you have a billion dollars in in assets, you can divide that two hundred and fifty million on one blockchain, two hundred fifty million on another blockchain, two hundred fifty million on another blockchain, and it's represented. So, but they are separate tokens. Neegs is right. Yeah. That confuses a lot of people. Oh yeah, I think it's a gar yeah. it's, I, honestly to, to be strong about it. I think that's a garbage system. Like I think so. I've got USDT in on on chain one, and I'm trying to pay somebody else who doesn't take it on that chain. So I got to get I got to send it to somewhere else <laughs> that represents both chains, so that I can True. send it in and then send it out to the person I want to send it to. So it's just. And you're I mean, going to pay honestly, a fee from ERC-20s to Tron. Yeah, if, <laughs> so right, then if, you lose right, a little if you bit. End up, if, if the person you're sending to ends up on the ERC-20, you're paying that anyway. And now you're paying more. It's not much more, but you're paying more. And, and it's just complicated. Um, so that Sure, but I, it, it's still a way to be there, right? Like without that, um, then you couldn't have USDT on that other chain. And then you would have to support the USDT if it, it makes things more practical. I understand it that. And, and it can keep things on the chain, right? So like you can have, uh, I remember when I was using EOS, there was EOS only exchanges. And so, because uh, all the tokens that were on EOS were exchanged on those, right. those EOS only exchanges. So it, it makes sense that it was on different, different, that it's on different chains for that reason. And I think it's still the case, right? Like if you have an exchange that is more than just EOS, then right. it means that there is a technology in between that connects those two because totally. there yeah. is no interoperability there. Uh, not yet. We're not, we're not there yet. Correct. <laughs> we're coming. So it, goes so, into, it goes into yeah. a, 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 an address on that one chain and on an address on the other chain, it comes out. So it's, yeah. it's, the, it is not really cross-chain communication. Definitely not. Yeah. <laughs>